All right. Welcome to Thursday's 545 Devotion. So I asked a question in Kid Life this past Sunday. Have any of you ever bought a product that didn't work? <laughs> Maybe it was a toy or an electronic, and when you got it home or when it was delivered to your house, it was missing pieces or it just didn't work altogether. Oh, that's such a bummer. Well, you know what? That happened to us this Sunday right after I taught that lesson. We came home and we had delivered to our house from Amazon a trampoline sprinkler. We were so excited. We ran outside, we hung it up around the trampoline. I watched the informational video so I knew that you couldn't crank on the hose too quickly because it could damage the product. Well, my oldest son was so excited, he didn't see the video, he didn't know that. He ran over, he cranked up the sprinkler, and guess what? It didn't work. <laughs> it burst wide open, and also the nozzle came off the end of the hose. Oh, we were so disappointed. We were so bummed. Oh, has that ever happened to you? Have you ever got something that didn't work? Well, guess what? There is something that we buy into all the time that doesn't work. And that's what we learned about this past Sunday in Kid Life. You know what it is? Worry. That's right. Worry doesn't work. In fact, Jesus asked this great question in Matthew 6, 27. Can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour, a single day to your life? No. <laughs> worry does no good. In fact, worry just makes things worse. For instance, the weather. If you're worried about the weather, can you change it by worrying? No. Does it make things worse for you? Yes, and those around you. Or how about circumstances in your family? Can you change the circumstances in your family by worrying? No. In fact, it just makes things worse. Or how about your job? Maybe things are going rough at your job. Maybe you're worried about your job. Can that worry add anything to your job? Can it make your job, can it make your circumstance better? No way. Well, guess what? We're going to get a replacement for this trampoline sprinkler. So the question is, what can we replace worry with? Well, Paul talks about this in Philippians 4, 6. He says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. When you pray, you're telling God that you trust him. And guess what? Worry and trust, they don't mix. That's why. Right. You can't worry about something and trust God at the same time. It doesn't work. They don't mix together. So next time you worry, don't, <laughs> don't do it. It won't help. If you feel like you're worried about something, put that worry away. Instead, replace it with prayer. That's what I do, and it works. Whenever I feel anxious, whenever I feel worried, if I'll remember and think about it, I'll go to another room and I'll pray, and I'll say, God, I'm just so worried right now. Will you please take this away from me? And I'll tell you what, for me, he gives me a peace. And it lets me know that he's in control. Who can change our circumstances? Who can make things better for us? God. That's right. So instead of worrying, I'm going to pray. I hope you can do the same. Hey, listen, I hope you have a great, great day. See ya.